Let's look at the process of gastrulation in frog. How exactly the gastrulation is done? If we look at a cross section of an embryo of frog Xenopus, we can see that this point it is the ball of a cell with a fluid filled cavity. The cavity is the blastocele and the embryo is in the blastula stage of development. A blastula contains large yolk filled cell at the vegetal pole and smaller cells at the animal pole. The three color represents the three tissue layers that become defined early in the embryogenesis. Yellow indicates endosperm, red indicates mesoderm and blue indicates ectoderm. At the beginning of the gastrulation, a few surface cells called bottle cells move into the interior of the embryo, followed by other surface cells. We can track the movement of cells into the embryo if we add dye to the fewer cell surface. The movement of cell into the embryo creates a lip called the dorsal lip over which sheets of cells continues to move inside. At the same time, the ectoderm extends around the embryo surface in a process called epiboly. As gastrulation proceeds, a cavity called the archenteron forms while the blastocele shrinks. The archenteron is the primitive gut and is completely surrounded by endodermal tissues. The endoderm at the roof of the cavity originated from the outside of the embryo. The cavity is continuous with the outside via blastopore, which eventually becomes the anus. As the ectoderm extends around the embryo, another set of bottle cells forms. These cells migrate into the embryo and the other surface cells follow them, creating the ventral leap of the blastopore. By the end of the gastrulation, the ectoderm has surrounded the embryo, endoderm lines the inside and mesoderm lies between the two. Additionally, the fates of specific regions have become determined. The endoderm gives rise to digestive and respiratory tracts and associated structures. The mesoderm gives rise to the skeleton, circulatory system, muscles, excretory system and most of the reproductive system. The ectoderm gives rise to the skin, sense organs and nervous system. That concludes our understanding of gastrulation in Xenopus frog.